What's up, people? So, I'm filling up the diving tanks. We're gonna go to a little reef. There's a little drop off, so we're gonna check it out. The reef is right here. So, this is a whole reef, and then it gets deep. So, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Last time we went diving was in Grenada, and our GoPro went dead. It died. Water got in it, and we lost all the footage. We lost a GoPro and we're gonna put another case on the GoPro and we'll see. We're Alejo and Andrea and we've been living on our sailboat for the past two years. It's been a rough few weeks, but today we enjoy the best side of boat life, adventure. It means no worries. So guys, it is an awesome day. Whenever it's an awesome day, it's because we're doing something awesome, like going scuba diving or snorkeling. And that is what we're doing today. I think I already said that, but I'll repeat it. We are wearing our Hakuna shirts, which look really good. They're very aquatic. Are you wearing your Hakuna shirt? I'm wearing my I mean, first of all, let's talk about the coral reefs. They were beautiful, be a beautiful. Be a beautiful. How'd you feel? Very nice. At first, it was pretty scary because I, like, my diving experience is not too advanced. So this is like the third time I go to 50, 50 feet. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty nice. Anyway, the coral was super beautiful. There was like a bunch of fish. The corals were beautiful. You could see like this blue neon color corals that were just amazing then there was another one that looked like a fluffy sponge like a like you just wanted to like grab it as a pillow it was super fluffy uh, anyway and then we saw a bunch of lionfish like at least six yeah more more or more
so then we decided to go for the spear pull and just um, catch them because they are an invasive species as we have mentioned to you guys in previous videos they're super tasty last time we had them in ceviche and we made uh, tacos with our friends from Ajax and from Gratitude and they were so so good so we uh, went back grabbed our spear pull and we caught ourselves two big nice lionfish that we're gonna have for dinner Dinner, dinner, dinner chicken winner. This is dinner. Look at that one. It's a big, nice, dinner, nice dinner. lionfish. Chicken winner. <laughs> so tell me, how do you how do you uh, prep the lionfish? You gotta cut these little things because you can see they have poisonous or I don't know if it's poisonous or venomous. Let me tell you guys about the lionfish. So they're this invasive species from the Pacific. They're not native to the Caribbean. What they do is that they eat all of the baby reef fish. So they eat like all the baby snappers, all the baby groupers. And so that just kills the reef eventually. And it's the craziest thing. They can actually eat a fish up to their entire size. I think that's what I read last time. Because as you can see, their mouth, look at the size of this guy. And his mouth is huge. So they just like literally eat and eat and eat and they can grow up super big and they don't have any predators which is why we are their predators like we have to kill them and we have to eat them because like a uh, you know uh, I don't know a shark or a grouper they can't eat them because they have like the little the, the, the meat is super white it is delicious seriously super tasty do you like lionfish yes Lots of meat, people. Lots of meat. So now we move to Sandy Beach. I believe yep. this is the name. Yep. And we are cooking our fish. The lionfish in the barbecue. Looks good. And we just got some spinach and some kale from our little garden and I'm gonna make a salad to go with the rice and to go with the um, fish. We have our fish, we have our salad, which came out great. We have the rice, it's a perfect meal. And we're already running low on food. When was the last time we did groceries, babe? Like two months ago? No, like a month, like a month ago. But like barely, like just like a few fruits and whatever, right? Yes. What does it taste like? Delicious. So we are back on the move. We are going to Tyrell Bay here in Kerikou. We are gonna fuel up and then we're gonna head over to Grenada again. And then in Grenada we're gonna pick up some packages, we're gonna pick up some parts to repair the generator. Um, and yeah, and explore a little bit more. We're gonna we wanna do again the dive of the sculptures because last time our GoPro went bad and we'll keep you guys posted we'll, we'll show you a little bit so we made it to the gas station right here back here we had to anchor just for a little we're waiting for that big catamaran to move once he moves we're gonna go and dock the boat Put some fuel, it's really hot today. It's like 94, the sun's burning. We just turned on the AC for the dogs. So there's like two hollow places, one back there, and I guess they hollow boats out here too. They like monoholes, the other one they do cats and monoholes. Let me show you. So this is Tyrell Bay, right here. You can see the bunch of boats anchored. Are you enjoying the AC? Yes, still not cold yet, but almost. It's getting cold. It on, so. Yes. Yeah, Echo, she loves the AC. So guys, the plan is we're gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna go here. 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 we we're all set, we'll see. I don't like docking on that side because we don't have, I don't have too much visual, but yeah. By the way, did you notice we changed our 
flag because our US flag was ripped, so we put up our Colombian flag, which looks beautiful. Since Alejo is filling the port side of the diesel tank, um, I thought it would be interesting to see it from the inside because since we have this open right now, so that is the tank. It's an 80 gallon tank of diesel. So each side has the same tank. Our boat was pretty empty, both tanks. We were basically running on fumes. So we're going to see how much Grenada is for 160 gallons of diesel. So we finished putting gas, diesel, and now we are moving to another anchorage. We thought we were gonna head to Grenada today, but we are not because the wind is completely against us. It's not really worth it. Tomorrow is supposed to be windy as well, but it's going to be from an angle where we can actually sail and yes. we don't spend all of the diesel that we just put in. Because it was, oh, we didn't say how much it was. How much was it? 400 dollars. 400 Not that bad. Not as bad as we expected it to be. So we are sailing to Grenada from Cariacu. It's about like a six hour sail. We have 13 to 15 knots. Um, and yeah, we're going about six knots, pretty good. And the wind is, well, now it went to 12 knots. 12. So we're, the wind is coming to like from 90 to 60 degrees, it depends. We got some birds. We got the two fishing rods out. We're ready to eat some fish. Catch some tuna. Some mahi mahi, some woo -hoo. So for you guys that don't know, I suck at fishing, but yeah, I'm learning. So what I learned in the Bahamas is that when you follow the birds, that means there's fish. So we saw a pack of birds, so we were heading directly there, but then they start moving to another place and they're going pretty fast. So there's nothing I can do. I can hear the birds, I can see the birds, I can smell the birds. So now you can see a bird. This is an island that is between Grenada and Cariacu. I'll tell you the name in a little. So it's like a big rock right here. And then a little island. You can actually anchor there, but it has to be really calm conditions because it can get really rolly. And that mountain back there, the big one, that's Grenada. It's almost six here, and we are arriving in about 20 minutes. The sun's coming down. The moon's coming like out of the back of the mountain. Big ship right here. So we are still on the way. We haven't arrived. We got Andrea working, you know, my workaholic. We're almost there. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. It's a free and easy way to support our channel. And join us next week as we share with you one of the hardest and most vulnerable moments since we've been living on board.